her husband may be touching down in Salzburg to help reinvigorate European Union unity but it was his 64-year-old wife who commanded all the attention on day one of the couple's tour. Bridget Macron upstaged her husband thanks to her rather racy sartorial choice at Salzburg Airport on Wednesday. The Prime Minister's wife showcased her toned legs in a thigh-skimming red dress, which was embellished with a hem-to-neckline zip. The youthful blonde offset her look with vertiginous heels and oversized shades. The couple were greeted by Austrian Chancellor Christian Kern and his wife Evelyn Steinberger at the Salzburg airport ahead of the Salzburg Summit of Heads of State and Government of the Republic of Austria, the French Republic, the Czech Republic and the Slovak Republic. French President Emmanuel Macron is meeting with the leaders of Austria, the Czech Republic and Slovakia as part of a tour of Central and Eastern Europe aimed at reinvigorating European Union unity after Britain's decision to leave. Macron is also pushing for tighter rules to protect workers in prosperous countries in Western Europe from cheaper labor. The French leader is set to raise concerns over so-called posted workers, those who are temporarily posted abroad by companies in their home countries, as he makes his first visit to the region. He is to speak with Austrian Chancellor Christian Kern, Czech Prime Minister Bohuslav Sobotka and Slovakian Prime Minister Robert Fico in Salzburg on Wednesday. Other issues on Macron's agenda during his three-day visit are European defence and migration policies. At the start of the week she spoke for the first time about being married to a man 25 years her junior, saying, the only problem is that he's younger than me. In a brutally honest interview, she admitted that she was reminded of the age gap every morning when she looked at the boyish Mr. Macron. Of course, we have breakfast, me with my wrinkles, him with freshness, but that's how it is, said Mrs. Macron. She also spoke out after public pressure forced the Macrons to abandon their plans to give Mrs. Macron the official title of First Lady, claiming she was not too bothered. I don't feel like a First Lady, said Mrs. Macron. That's the translation of an American expression, and I don't like anything about it. An opinion poll in early August showed the majority of French people were against her getting the title even though she is a popular figure. She said in an interview with Elle magazine last week that she would be an unofficial first lady in the mold of previous presidential spouses. Like all of those before me, I will take on my public role, but the French people will know the resources at my disposal, she said. She accompanied the president to a G7 summit in Italy and was also by his side when he welcomed U.S. President Donald Trump to Paris in July. Macron's office had promised a transparency charter which would make clear how much her role would cost. Monday's statement confirmed that she would not be paid but did not reveal the overall bill or the number of staff at her disposal. In legal terms, the first lady still does not have any status, Jean Joel Governatore, a constitutional lawyer, told AFP. In the end, it doesn't change anything, other than giving the illusion of transparency. President Macron has made a mixed start to his five-year term, which has seen his approval ratings topple to the mid-30% range after 100 days in office, according to recent opinion polls. In her interview with Elle, Bridget Macron also spoke about her marriage with Macron, who is 25 years younger than her and a former pupil in her drama classes at a Catholic high school in the northern city of Amiens. When I read about us, I always have the impression I'm reading someone else's story, she said. Our story is so simple. Despite the difficulties their relationship caused, the mother of three divorced her first husband in 2006, she said she had no regrets.